Hi guys, and welcome to another video. So, since the last video on the channel, quite a lot has happened, hasn't it? The World Cup has begun. England have now, as I'm recording this, as of yesterday, they've completed their group stages, of course, progressing to the next stage. And Wales have also completed their group stages as well. <laughs> but also, someone did take on Al-Shabaab in Dubai in a... Friendly, and I say friendly because uh, it did end up being a 1-0 win to the lads due to a goal from Ahmed Diallo. But for those of you who didn't know, there was a huge bust up towards the back end of the game. Apparently it was pretty fiery throughout the affair anyway. And then uh, it all comes to blows. Uh, Gooch is swinging for players. Players are swinging for Gooch. You've got uh, Juan Satori. You've got... You've got the board on the on the pitch trying to calm things down. What is it with us recently with uh, <laughs> with, with games abroad? I think it happened when we played Roma, didn't we? You had Jose Mourinho on the pitch trying to start with Luke O'Neill, and it's I don't know what it is. The second we go abroad for a friendly, whatever it is, it all seems to kick off and it just goes to shit. <laughs> but either way, at least it got some minutes in the in the lads' legs, um, and the red card won't mean anything. Fortunately for Lyndon Gooch, but you know what Gooch is like, he's got a bit of a temper. Apparently he was bubbling for the majority of the game and it did happen, but it's a run out for the lads, that's all it is. I'm not going to think too much into it. And um, yeah, so into this video. So of course, we are going back to Championship Football this weekend. We are going to be taking on Millwall this weekend. I will be trying to get out a preview before that. I'll probably try and get that out for Friday at some point. But that isn't what this video was about. This video is... Transfer rumours. Of course, I love a good transfer rumour video. I know that you guys enjoy the transfer rumour video, but it has been pretty heavy. Over the last couple of days, we've been linked with a certain striker, Cameron Archer of Aston Villa. Now, he is a player, it's a name that I have mentioned before in the past as a player that I wanted to see a sign and then we were later linked with. Now, this lad, he hasn't played many minutes for Aston Villa. In fact, I think he's made six appearances over the last sort of season, but it all totals up to about 43 minutes, so less than a half of football. At the beginning of the season, there were rumours that we were linked with him for a loan, and uh, apparently, I think Gerard, who of course was in charge of Villa at the time, uh, was saying that he wanted to see him, see what he's all about, and then just didn't use him, and it's a similar situation with Emery there now. So we're not too sure, but there's been heavy rumours from the, uh, the football publication called Football Insider, saying that Sunderland have made an inquiry, uh, about signing Aston Villa striker Cameron Archer in January, but apparently multiple championship clubs are keen to take the forward on loan. So it, it was a, it's a very similar situation, you know. And Archer, I am a fan of. I saw bits and pieces of him when he was at Preston. He did well there. I think it was seven goals in 20 odd games for the time that he was given as well. He did very, very well. He can do a little bit of everything, which I do like. You know, I think he's sort of 5'11, 6 foot. So it, it is in that sort of range of he's not a big target man, but he can. Be a nuisance up there. He can play with his back to goal, but on the same uh, on, on the same token, he can get in behind. He has that pace and he has that sort of fox in the box ability. And you see with the goals that you see that he has scored, it is a mix. You know, it can be the sort of a goal mark scramble where he's in the right place at the right time, where it's taken on a player and then stick it in the bottom corner or a first time finish. He has a little bit of everything for a young lad and the age he's at. You know, it does fit the bill with us. And I'd love to see a player of his ilk, you know, come through because we've seen what it's like. You know, we've had two strikers or of only two strikers injured for a huge chunk of the first half of this championship campaign which is fortunately for us it hasn't hindered us too much of course there's some games that you could argue that we needed the outlet and the goals would of course helped but it would have been very easy for us to start losing every game and not scoring at all and then blaming on the strike situation when in reality we have actually picked up some really good results in hindsight now at the time and the odd sort of draw here and there where we maybe have wanted us to win or expected us to win or with the way we played, we would have wanted us to win. Um, but it, it's easy to look at it that way then, when we don't have any strikes on the pitch and you're there in the moment with that emotion. But when you come away from it, and obviously we've got a, a week or two to take away, we've done very well given the situation. Moss Stewart has been injured for the majority. Sims has been off, what, six weeks or so anyway. So we, we've done well considering. But back to the point, a player like Archer, or another striker in general, someone who can do a job, and he's done it with Preston in the Championship as well. So he does have Championship championship experience. It's not like he's only played in the Academy of Aston Villa and done nothing else. He has played, he has done well, and he's succeeded to, to a degree in the Championship. So I think it'll be a very, very good sign. And even if it is just on loan, we need that back up. You know, Stewart is back on the pitch now. He's training, I think, or pretty much fully. But he's not going to be match fit, and he won't be match fit for quite some time. So... Even when the games do start rolling back around, I can't imagine them seeing him start games for quite some time. Although we did say that about Sims, and then Sims come back, I think he come back off the bench, and he was starting games 
and playing full 90 minutes. So you never know. But um, I wouldn't like to see us put, you know, show our full hand. But once you get Sims and Stewart up there, it can be a bit of a... It can be relatively off-putting to some strikers. I think it was similar with Broadhead, who eventually went to Wigan. He thought, you know, Sims and Stewart there, you know, how am I going to get in there? But players, we need to play with an attitude of, I'm going to go in there, work my socks off, train hard. I'm going to get the opportunity, I'll take it, or I'll try and take it, and then I'll try and get in between those two starters, or I'll try and plead my case, whereas some players, they just don't have that mentality. They want to be, you know, they want to have that sort of arm around them and have that assurance of you're going to be playing at every opportunity given. Do you know what I mean? Or every available opportunity, you will be there in the starting eleven. And I think we just need that back up. And, you know, if a young lad like Archer, you know, if he does come off, off the bench, if we were to get him, thinking ahead of the game here, but if he does start to show sparks, maybe grab the odd goal, then he could find himself ahead of Stuart or, or Sims. You know, never say never. But yeah, so it's it's an exciting it's an exciting player for us to be to, to be linked with. Like I said, we have been linked in the past. Um he has only played I think six times or made six appearances this season for Villa, forty three minutes in total, not great. But um yeah, it is believed that we have made an inquiry on uh, on his availability. Um he is very, very highly rated over Aston Villa. But um, you know, he's behind the pecking order of a lot of players there. When you've got you've got Watkins, you've got Ings, you've got Buendia who could play there, you've got Bailey Coutinho all around that sort of final third. He is going to find it very difficult for game time, understandably. So I'd be very excited if he was to come and I'd be very happy. Of course, in the comments, let me know how would you feel about the potential signing of Cameron Archer. But now onto a potential outgoing now. This is something that is going to absolutely drive me mad, and there's probably going to be plenty of videos over January in general. Regarding Ross Stewart, because Ross Stewart, of course, did excellently well with us last season in the Championship. He made a cracking start to us, sorry, in the last season in, in League One, and uh, he made a cracking start this season before the injury. Hopefully, I know it sounds bad for him, because I've said I only want the best for Ross Stewart, but hopefully this sort of injury puts off a few teams, um, and maybe think, okay, maybe not touch him uh, just yet, or try, even try and inquire about him just yet, um, because of the injury. But we know what he's like. He's a very, very good player, Ross Stewart. He has it all, you know, in strength. It is uh, intelligence in and around the box. It is second to none. His finishing ability uh, and the way to, he positions himself is, is excellent. He's a cracking player. We know he, he can do a little bit of everything. Um, so it would surprise me if someone was to come in in January. It would break me out if someone were. But the rumour is that Middlesbrough are in for him. Now, uh, of course, Middlesbrough now under Michael Carrick. You know, experience, very experienced footballer when he was. He's done his coaching and everything now, and Carrick is someone who I, I do have um, a little bit of respect for in terms of I like the way he played, particularly when he's at Manchester United, I know it's a completely different thing now, he's a, he's a coach, but at Borough, you know, it, but I'm, I, I always think into the little details of why he'd want to go there, you know, Borough, they've been in the Championship for longer than us, we need to remember that, you know, we have just come up from League One, we do have the somewhat rivalry with them, which would be very annoying, but also... It's convenient because it's relatively close to where to where we are now in terms of geography or the location. Um, but for me, I would like to think that Stuart has can see the plan. Ross can see the plan that is in place at Sunderland, and he is so loved, and he is our main man. And I would like to think that that is the case, or at least a a contract that he is interested in is on the table. I just have a feel at the minute that a contract is probably. I, th I think a very good championship contract is probably on the table right now for Ross Stewart. But I also think his agent is doing his job and saying, hold on, January's nearly coming. Let's see if we can get you a better deal elsewhere. Again, in an ideal world, that Ross Stewart would say, oh no, I love Sunderland, it's perfect here, blah, blah, blah. But you never know, even a Premier League club might be interested. You have no idea. Or, or a team that are almost solidified to go up. Let's say like a Burnley or a, or, or, or a team like, like that, who you're expected to go up or a Watford, you know, who were currently in a better sort of position than us to go forward to the Premier League quicker than us, it wouldn't surprise me if that did come to fruition. doesn't mean it wouldn't annoy me, it wouldn't upset me, but it also wouldn't surprise me. But I'm hoping that this is just rumours, but Middlesbrough are apparently interested in the Loch Ness Drogba. So that is everything so far, guys. As I say, I will be doing a preview to the game, or I should be able to do a preview before the game this weekend. Um, but it's just a little bit of trap rumours I thought I would keep you guys updated on. Hope you're all well. I know it's been a while again, but it's just been a very busy time for me, as you guys know. But there we are. If you've enjoyed, hit the like button for me and subscribe if you are new to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, take care and stay jamming.